These child abuse cases seem to be getting worse, but what's a possible solution to keep other kids from facing the same fate? NBC Miami's Hank Tester talks to an expert about what Broward County does differently. A wave of horrific tragedies. What's going on with people? The decomposed body of a little girl found in the back of this pickup truck. Her twin brother clinging to life found in the front seat, abused. The girl murdered. Authorities charged jailed foster parents George Bejarona and foster mother Carmen Bejarona. And then this, Del Rey. Two kids found dead, one in a suitcase, one in a duffel bag, thrown into a lake. Their mother found in a dump, a suspect charged. Sunday, Hialeah, this couple jailed, Vincent Collins and Savannah Schulter. Their starving two-year-old found emaciated in a feces-littered motel room. Jennifer O'Flaherty Anderson, expert on these issues, also heads the Broward United Way. A lot of it also comes from their parents did it or the environment that they grew up in that happened. So it's unhealthy but it's natural to them they saw it done and so they think it's how they sh how they should treat their children the tragedies have rocked south florida from palm beach county delray to south miami dade investigations hearings answers sought but what's the root cause we're dealing with a breakdown a systemic breakdown over multiple generations of the eroding of a family young families and people who are um, parents weren't raised in healthy family environments. They don't have good modeling. Short term, how are these tragedies to be averted? All had warning flags, yet kids fell through the cracks. In Broward County, this procedure. Child care service worker doesn't do the investigation. The Broward Sheriff's Office goes out and does the investigation. Well, that takes things to a different level. It's Hank Tester, NBC, Miami.